In this video, I'm going to cover the three best product research tools available, what they are, and how you can use them to your benefit. All right. So the first tool we have here is Google Trends. Google Trends essentially shows you what people are typing into Google over time for specific areas. For example, you could find what people in a specific country or state are typing into Google or YouTube or other search partners that they have. And you can see kind of the general volume in terms of interest, right? So it's actually on a scale of 100% to 0%. And you can see when the highest interest in a particular topic is and the lowest. And there's a significant correlation between what people are typing into Google and what people are buying on Amazon. It's not exact, it's not a perfect correlation, but there is a very high and strong correlation between the two and it absolutely is helpful. I've used um, Google Trends for all of my products to basically identify if any potential product that I'm going to sell on Amazon FBA is seasonal or trending. I wanna stay away from those products because I wanna uh, sell products that sell well all year round, not just a few months out of the year or just for a few months total for the entire life of the product. Uh, an example of this could be fidget spinners uh, for trending products and another example for a seasonal type of product would be camping gear, all right? So that's what Google Trends is. Just shows you what people are typing into Google over time uh, and it's a free tool and I have a video on this channel specifically about it and it's very, very powerful. I recommend everyone who's either in or thinking about selling products on Amazon through Amazon FBA to use this tool and actually use all these tools I have listed here. So that's the first. The second is the um, Amazon FBA Calculator Chrome extension and these two are actually Chrome extensions. So the FBA Calculator Chrome extension is really, really powerful for calculating Amazon FBA fees, right? You want to know how profitable a potential product is before you start selling it on Amazon, right? You don't want to you would never want to just go sell it and hope that it's profitable, right? Because if you're losing money on a product, I mean, that's a pretty bad situation, right? So of course, that's one of the first steps that you want to take before you start even contacting suppliers and producing your product. So the Amazon FBA calculator Chrome extension essentially works to where you open a particular listing, right? Maybe one of your future competitors listings on Amazon, and then you open the Chrome extension, the FBA calculator Chrome extension, and you can input, you know, your estimated product price, estimated shipping costs, and then what the FBA calculator does is it shows you all of the Amazon FBA fees to where you can essentially look at all of the expenses that you'll have to pay upfront or you know, per unit, you can break it out per unit that you have to sell. And then you can easily calculate the profit percentage or estimated profit percentage per unit. And in my recommendation, I don't do anything lower than 30%, right? After marketing, um, you know, product fees, shipping fees, and Amazon FBA fees, if my profit after all of those fees are covered and I, you know, set my price point and all that, and if my profit percentage or estimated profit is less than 30%, I don't go with that product. Uh, ideally, anywhere over 30%, the 40 to 50% or even 60% mark is really, really good. So that's just a general kind of rule of thumb. And again, I have a specific video on my channel about the FBA calculator, so you can go ahead and check that out. And the final free tool that is very, very powerful for FBA sellers is Keepa or the Keepa Chrome extension. So what Keepa does, and I really, really, I actually really love using Keepa. So how Keepa works is you add the Chrome extension to your Chrome browser, open up a particular listing on Amazon, a particular seller, and you can see their price point over time, right? Because you may be looking at a price point now today, right? As you're, as you're doing your product research, it could be very different from what it was even a few days ago or a week ago or months ago. So you can see two things with the Keepa graph, which loads automatically. And again, I have a whole video on this specifically, so I won't go into too much detail, but basically the Keepa graph automatically loads when you open a listing and it shows you the price point of a particular product over time. And it also shows you their sales rank, right? So how well they rank um, on Amazon's algorithm, right? Their sales rank algorithm. So, so you can see, you know, maybe they increased their price and their sales rank went, you know, um, increased, which is a negative thing, right? So when you think about sales rank, you have to think one is really, really good, right? One is the best and you know, like 50,000 is bad, right? The bigger the number, the worse, the smaller the number, the better. Kind of like, you know, getting first place in a competition. Same, same deal here, you know, ranking or placing first. So, um, so you could, you know, look at the Keeper graph and see at what point did, you know, at what price point did this competitor or future competitor kind of set their price to, to where their sales rank decreased, right? They, they improved their sales rank. And, it, and it's, again, I have a video specifically on this, but that's the two things it shows are sales rank and price point over time. Um, very, very 
Very important information. It can help you understand your ideal price point. You know, the FBA calculator will help you understand how much profit you can expect to make per unit of a potential product or if it's even a profitable product to go after. And then Google Trends helps you avoid um, or understand any kind of seasonal or trending product. So I use all three of these tools. They're totally free. I'll have links in the description below. Uh, and they're very, very powerful. As I've said, if you have any questions about them specifically or would like to know more information on product research, be sure to check out my other videos and comment below. Uh, and if you like this video, which I hope you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more great content. Check out the other videos on my channel. I guarantee you're going to find them helpful. And I really appreciate you watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.